So I was on social media like a couple days ago, right? And there was this video where somebody zoomed in on the moon. It was a full moon and it was really good quality, which, you know, leads me to believe it's fake. Okay. But it was super cool because when they zoomed into the moon, it was like the edge of the moon and you could see like things moving or flying around the moon. No. Which was like supposed right. to be portrayed as like UFOs yeah. or, or aliens, which is super, like, super <laughs> kind of cool how they did that. But um, I'm pretty sure that's real. I watched a video on it being real, but it's not UFOs, it's like satellites orbiting the moon. That would make more sense, yeah. But like, aliens. they're really <laughs> small and you can, like, you can barely see them, and it has to be like very specific, like, timing and placement uh. to see them. I saw this headline. I didn't read it. I got to stop like, just looking at headlines and actually read stuff <laughs> sometimes. But supposedly they're going to be coming. They're going to be releasing some more information about UFOs. Yeah. Well, that one ex, what is it? Ex military security Something guy. Something like that. Yeah. He came out and was like, "Aliens are real. They're everywhere. Like yeah. we have so much undeniable evidence." And I was like, "What?" But then I was watching, I was listening to Elon Musk. Elon Musk would be an alien. <laughs> I mean, Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, he's so, a lizard. Yeah, he's a lizard. So, oh, no, 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 I'm down. So, I'm the fucking lizard. Elon, king. Elon Musk was like, "Yeah, aliens are real. Like, unless they found a block, like a perfect cube of titanium in the middle of the pyramids, or something like that, I, I don't believe it. Because if they are real, they're really subtle and they're they're shy. But that doesn't make any sense. That's very interesting. Uh, Just like." But, I mean, the thing about the pyramids is, like, have you seen, what is, it, like, they would have had to lay, um, like, like, 400 blocks a day perfectly for, like, 20 years. Every single day they'd have to do that or something like that crazy because I used to build block walls and if, yeah. that, if the one block is off, like, an inch or, like, this or, you know, lopsided, 30 feet in the air, oh, your, your gap would be this big and blocks yeah so in order for them to be that tall every single brick is laid perfectly and there's tunnels going through that bro <laughs> what the heck is per capita mean <laughs> per capita you see you talking made me think of per capita i'm what trying is, to remember <laughs> it's it's per english capita. lesson per capita. per capita is like this amount of things per this amount of people I have no idea though. I, I think I think he's on to it. I don't quite know exactly. <laughs> yeah, myself. Okay, so no, no, no. He's up. got a point. You know. So relate like, back to the pyramid thing. I saw this funny meme where it was like all the all the all the slaves the Egyptians had. They're forcing them to make the pyramids, and all the slaves are like, "Wow, I can't wait for like several years from now when people will look at these beautiful things we built." Yeah. And then it switches to the modern day, and it's like a tourist town. And they're like. Alien. <laughs> I know. So the Egyptian works like, what the frick? Well, I mean, you appreciate it. Mm. Per capita means for each person. Boom. Oh, okay. I'll Essentially. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so close. Close. close enough. No, so yeah. the pyramids, bro, and they're also in the exact center of the earth. Well, I mean, in a sphere, any point. No, like <laughs> not if the Earth is flat. No, I'm kidding. Uh -oh. no, I'm kidding. No, like, We're not getting on that. We're conspiracies. I, I <laughs> saw a video on it. Pyramids weird me out. I love them. Did you see Bradham's memes? Like, apparently, if the world isn't flat, then why don't we lay like this? <laughs> like, the bent knee. Like, yes. It's like if the world isn't flat. Why aren't my shoes this instead of flat? Yes. Okay, and about um pyramids and aliens it's funny that you bring that up because like that was like legit news like a while ago i'm not even sure i didn't read about it but like during the big covid thing there was actual like evidence for like ufo stuff but nobody was but no one covered it because yeah. Yeah. yeah i remember that because after a certain amount of years the government has to release the files and it was 20 years or whatever they would do that during a pandemic yeah and so they oh. released all these files about aliens and no one gave a frick because COVID was going on. Yo. Mind blown. I, I don't, oh, yeah. I don't think it was as much as, like, it's an alien as, like, 
there's this weird there's thing things that going on, like, happened and like there's no they, they don't know why it happened or how it happened and it's like well it, uh, aliens <laughs> like aliens. that's the deduction my 12th grade english teacher had an idea about ufos she definitely believed in UFOs as unidentified flying objects, but she didn't believe in little green men, is what she put it. So basically, she didn't deny that the government may or may not have, or, or the military, whoever it was, may or may not have been building aircrafts that could be undetected, fly super quick, appear and disappear, mm -hmm. essentially. But the fact of extraterrestrial beings, she didn't believe in that at all. Hmm. See, I, I had a, I had a physics teacher in high school, and he believed the same thing. He's like Area Fifty One, and like there's like these little bases or whatnot. He was like, they're not alien technology. That's just technology that the government doesn't want you to see. And he talked about how like he was driving on the highway, and he saw like a triangle, like like aircraft or something, <laughs> like stop and then fly towards. Like Area Fifty One, or like one of those, like yo. Okay. So like, I don't know if that's true or not. Like, if he's just like a teacher pulling students' legs, but like, I like, I like that idea that like, there's technology that the government just like hasn't. See, I can released. totally believe that. I'm so happy that we're talking about this. <laughs> several personal, several personal accounts. All right, all right, let's hear. Definitely have seen a UFO. Okay, and before I start. I'm pretty sure it's a UFO. I've seen a satellite at night in the mountains, clear sky, everything. I know what the difference between a plane and a satellite movement is. Okay. okay. Satellite movement, fairly quick, but consistent. Yeah. Airplane, slow, blinking lights, fairly consistent. This UFO that I saw, or multiple that I saw, okay, I was driving down Main Street in Ridgefield, Utah, looked up at the sky, and saw two lights above like in in the distance towards um the south mountain of uh Spree county okay yeah as i was driving you know there are street lights on main street and i was like oh well they could just be the glare on my windshield from the street lights they were consistently going off and on like back like they were playing catch with one another okay what and so i was like okay well next obvious thing is they got to be like signal towers you know but the only signal towers that we have are at the east of town and they're red these lights were white. Uh, and I was like, things aren't adding up here. Something's, <laughs> something's, off, something's off, man. Something, something is off. And so I was watching him because Main Street's fairly long and yeah. the speed limit was only like 30 miles per hour. Yeah. So as I was watching it, they would move too. But not in any regular way like an airplane would or a, or a satellite would, you know, because satellite is in orbit and it, you know, yeah, basically like moves in a straight line, line yeah. right? Yeah. These weren't following any patterns like that and so it was it was just super weird and so i tried to pull off to the side of the yeah. road to get a clear picture of this um and so i pulled off towards the fairgrounds towards the east of town yeah and they were gone and so either they were either they either they were um reflections of street lights which i don't think they were yeah or I just parked in a weird position and I couldn't see it. There are many factors as yeah. to, you know. Uh, but then my dad also, one morning he was driving to work and yeah. he was on the f on the freeway and he was passing Aurora and he saw something similar to what I saw too. Like the flashing. Like the flashing lights, yeah. Ooh. It was, it, it's, it's super weird. So do I believe in little green men? I don't know. Do I definitely believe that there are UFOs? A hundred percent. I mean, to be like a voice of reason, I feel like there's something to say that could just be like, uh, like drones or something. That's like true. That. However, drones mm. are like airplanes and have blinking lights. Yeah, but not UFOs like unidentified flying objects. Like tr true. Okay, wait. True. I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> and I have a photo oh, no, of like the craziest experience, <laughs> and I totally forgot about it. Oh, okay, it wasn't actually. It's not that crazy, but um. I was hanging out with Brenna. She's like my friend with red hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we were going to go to her friend's house, to one of her friend's house. So we like left the apartment. And then in the sky, 
there was like a line of lights and it was like going up and like this light would disappear and then a new light would appear. This light would disappear and then a new light what? would appear. Yo. I have videos and a picture of it. Dude, but like, I was so confused. Like, it, I was like, is it like a drone show or something? So that's what I re- wrote it off as in my head was like a drone show. But also thinking about it, I'm like, why in Ephraim, Utah would there be a drone show? Like, uh, and I, I have, Who does that? Here? I have, yeah. like, I legit have proof. Because I took a photo because I was so weirded out by it. I was like, what is that? What is going on? Let me try to find oh, it, though. Get this. Well, okay, while you're finding this, okay, I did some study on the pyramids, okay? Yeah. Like I said about the blocks. Back to the pyramids. Okay. Back. They fell out, it. okay? The Pyramid of Giza contains 2.3 million individual blocks of stone, meaning one block would have to be laid every five minutes of every hour, 24 hours a day, for the entire 20 years they're being Shh. built. They never stopped working. But the thing is... Each block weighed two tons. Yeah. And they didn't have any equipment, nothing. So they did like the roller thing. And they were doing that while putting the tunnels in and the tombs and the traps. Hmm. Anyway. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's just like back to Caleb's I UFO thing. It's just a straight line of just lights. Oh, but it was so weird. Cause... I think I've seen that before. Actually. Okay, what is that? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Elon Musk, he has this like Starlink thing where he's trying to like basically have wi-fi global wi-fi oh i, I forgot i that. think that's what that is because i was one day i was out on the trampoline with my siblings and we were looking up at the sky and then a bunch of lights in that like exact same line went like what the across, and we were like what the frick really? and then i looked it up later and yeah apparently it was elon Musk satellites so oh okay yeah i he, but it was weird yeah, yeah like, totally it was something totally i've never weird. seen yeah he's trying to launch Satellites in the sky, so everywhere has Wi-Fi. Yeah, like they admit why, like Wi-Fi signal. I'm trying to fry our brains. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All the five G Karens coming out. <laughs> yeah, dude, freaking. So, but like the thought of there actually being extraterrestrial beings and them having like, like living among us, like among blows us. it blows my mind is what it does. If okay. if it's true. Okay, do you want to hear like a different theory? Let's hear that, it. Um, all right, all right. So, so I've heard, like, I told you, like, my physics teacher, he's like, yeah. You, like, he, I mean, he's the same idea as your one teacher. Like, extraterrestrial people, no. No. But, like, UFOs, just, like, advanced technology that hasn't been released. I have the, another, like, crazy neighbor lady. And she... Got uh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, I'm not talking about it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you're listening to this neighbor lady, I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. We love you. <laughs> we love you. No, but... um. So she's like a crazy like religious religion fanatic and she was like she was like yeah of course aliens are real and she's like they're not green people though they look like us because she's like what are like god's creations you know they're like all people are like modeled after god and yeah. then he's and she was like and why would they visit our world and she was like because our world is like the the only world that would kill its own savior and, like, they're, like, visiting, like, this, hmm. like, sinful world. Or, like, visiting the place where, like, Jesus lived and walked yeah. and the people killed him. So that's Yo, hard I, to believe. Wow, I like that. And so, like, going along with that, it's like, yeah, of course there's no, like, green alien sighting people yeah. because they're not green people. They just look like us. They, they like breathe. They're and okay, like, who, who here is an alien? Come out now. I'm a lizard person. <laughs> why, why, do, why do people say person. that about Mark Zuckerberg? Like, why is he, like, Have you he, seen the man? He's well, not normal. Like, I am a Mark Zuckerberg. Well, he, if he's not the freaking lizard king, then he's either a when, serial killer or an alien. <laughs> Uh, what I I, love, I watched this edit and it was like it was like a close up on like Mark Zuckerberg's eyes during like a trial. Yeah, and yeah, he like yeah, blinks, I've seen that one. and it like his iris like closed and then it blinks. It's like <laughs> so it's oh like so, so, so like inside like the black. Yeah, what, what, his eyes what closes. was that? It's was so that funny. in 2019 when Facebook yeah, had like I a huge was, security it was breach? Last year or two years ago, maybe three. The Mark Zuckerberg, I bet he's Facebook. Sure. Mark Zuckerberg's always on trial That's for true. something. Yeah, he was on trial. And they were recently on trial for like Monopoly because they had bought like Everything. Instagram, WhatsApp. Yeah, I want to say Snapchat, but I don't think. Uh, I don't think I think Snapchat's safe for now. 
For, but but they had like see. monopoly issues, so they're like selling Instagram, where it's already sold to a different company. Yeah, just so like they don't have as much like power and control over social media. What I think is hilarious. But Democrats are taking Mark, over. Mark <laughs> in that is he's like has a straight face, and then suddenly he's like, yeah, he just goes back. <laughs> I don't even. Yeah, fifty percent smile. <laughs> Dial it back to zero. <laughs> smile, smile initiation. Compassion. Program. Okay, we're done. <laughs> all right, we're good. We're sending all the right signals. It's like, no, no, no. Little people controlling Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg is just a robot. I could see it. Yeah, I could see it. Dude, dude that dude straight. hacked into, like, Harvard's Wi-Fi and yeah. every... Because every house there had some kind of, like, profiling system so they could keep track of their, you know, kids mm-hmm. who were living there. He hacked into it one night after his girlfriend dumped him and he was drunk doing it. Yeah. Dude is not human. Dude is no. Rick Sanchez. <laughs> Rick Sanchez. <laughs> I Go. built neutrino Who's bombs Morty? and I'm blackout drunk. <laughs> I'm Morty. I'm Morty. Mark Zuckerberg. Take me. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. I'm not gay, but I'd let Mark Zuckerberg rail me. Oh, just oh, just wait a minute. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I am gay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no. But, uh, like, talking about Mark Zuckerberg and, like, Elon Musk, I think there's something to say that, like, People that go far are are not regular people. Like no, regular like people a, get like nine to five job, get a family, buy a car, security, and yeah. and like the weird people are the ones that like either get like far or cut in, go to say at asylums. That and like Mark true. Zuckerberg is like super gifted and smart, yeah, he's very and so smart. like I don't know, his like moods are weird. And like even if you listen, to, like Elon Musk. Elon like, Musk is weird, but he, he's, he's like he's the worst awkward. presenter ever. He's so awkward. Oh, he can't, yeah, he can't really like you watch him in interviews. He's kind of like shy, shy, awkward. almost like he not, like stumbles over his words. And yeah, it's like, it's like his brain can't really. His brain can't. I can't There's really. so many thoughts going <laughs> through his like, head at oh, one time. Yeah, exactly. That he can't. Compute it's hard for him to focus his thoughts, but I mean, he, he can he build a rock operating on another dimension. Than I guess human. one could say he's built different. <laughs> <laughs> he is, bro. Have you heard about how he wants to create an atmosphere on Mars? Oh, yeah. Dude's a Wait. genius. Yeah, nuke the crap out of Mars and make <laughs> They're it. They're going to build make it on Mars. Have, yeah. Shoot climate off the climate poles. change on Mars. Yeah. yeah. Warm. Crazy. It yeah. could work. Dude can't even or make it could an totally airless throw off our solar system. Wait, really? Something no. like that. There's a lot of drawbacks yeah. to that plan, though. No. Or the radiation could try. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, I thought the radiation from nuclear bombs is bad. I don't know. Frick. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But technically. Like fallout. But fallout's very, like, the decay of radioactive material is very quickly. Like, it. I don't know. It, it decreases it really fast. quickly, yeah. and then there's, like, a long linear, like, a long time where it's present. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not that problem. same level where it's like maybe like two years where it's just like just really Great. crazy. Yeah. yeah, and like, hey, what is he affecting? There's no, yeah, really I nothing. Mean, they do that. I mean, they're they, gonna have to do that I with people on, on Mars, though. Didn't they find like fossils of like bacteria on oh. Mars well, that like suggest point, that there was water? Yeah, at one point there was a lot of water on Mars. I guess. Yeah. So it's kind of like, all right, if we just nuke the crap out of Mars, then maybe it change the, if, if there's like a bunch of ice there. Melted, maybe. Fan you, theory. Oh, humans fan theory. humans are from Mars. We ruined the world. We can only send one mothership to Earth, and it was Adam and Eve, and we died. Yo, and they started the pot. It sounded over. like a Brandon Sanderson novel. Yes. But how crazy would that be? In a, in a sci-fi... <laughs> in a, well, hear me out. In a sci-fi right. sort of twist, because there, there's a movie called Elysium, and oh. um, basically Earth is... Trash. It, it's like freaking Wally. One step, freaking one Wally. step away from being Wally, except people are still on the planet, okay. and the rich are living on this ring, controlled with an atmosphere out in outer space called Elysium, and they have all the top-notch technology there. You, uh, you have a medical disease, say cancer, they can treat it on Elysium, but you have to have some sort of code implanted into you in order to get on a spaceship and go there. How crazy would it be, say? Elon Musk did nuke the crap out of Mars, and yeah. several hundred years down the road, there actually was an atmosphere in Mars. You literally could have two Earths, Earth 1, Earth 2. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But Mars is 
bigger than Earth. Yeah. And so there's a lot more room for population and things like that. So if our world ever did or was or became overpopulated, we could just go to Mars. Or vacation on Mars. Or yeah, vacation yeah, on that, Earth. That's the thing is people think, like, I get what you're saying. Is that movie good? That's pretty good movie. Yeah, dude, like, works on robots, and there's a radiation chamber, and a crate gets stuck, and he has to, his boss makes him go in and take it out. Door closes, he gets blasted with a ton of radiation. Oh. So the whole movie just becomes him trying to, be, like, get up to Elysium and get cured, pretty much. Okay. Uh, in doing okay. so, they make him into, like, this, this super weapon. It's super gory. It's super. It's pretty good. It's rated R, though. Yeah. Oh, cool. But like, I think Elon. You know, when I watched the video on Elon Musk, he talked about that people like the thing of people being like, "Oh, you can only go to Mars if you're rich." Like it only, you know. Uh, so a lot of people think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna happen, honestly, because they can go. So every every two years, the Earth and Mars line up to a point where you yeah. can get there in six months. So if think about it, every two years, that's not very like that's pretty consistent, like traveling. I don't think there'd be a problem with people needing to be that. Rich. I mean, you'd have to have money, obviously, to pay for it. But mm. yeah, I mean, like, sorry, go ahead. All all the elite just go move. But also, to I can Mars. totally see. It I happening. would doubt the elite would move to Mars. Like central base is Earth. You know, it'd be like people searching for like a new life. You know. Yeah, like oh, getting sick of oh, like, kind of like, and like I would expanding bet, out west. Uh, yeah, I would bet. Yeah, like oh, yeah, expanding okay. out west. I mean, where, that's probably what would happen first. Is yeah, you need well, yeah. To get people like when the America first started to expand out west, you need to get those people going there. You gotta get and them, then those people, them. if they find it profitable, they're gonna become the new elite. Except for they can't take a ship back that's to true. Earth. Actually, they're, they're, they're planning. Trip. They're gonna do that. What the heck is that? The Martian. You ever seen the Martian? Yeah, the Martian. I have not. They basically it. send astronauts to Mars uh, and, to do, like, several, like, science experiments, sort of. Yeah. yeah set up home Mars. base, learn about Mars. It's super... So it's really good. In order to colonize Mars, you just have to send a ton of scientists, get a base camp set up, and then basically go from there. And basically in the movie... Was it Mark Wahlberg? Mark, yeah, Mark. Matt Damon. Matt, 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 Damon, Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <sighs> basically grows potatoes on the soil of Mars by using their... His crap. Well, the team's crap, pretty well, much. Well, yeah, what happens <laughs> is, cool. like... Technically, he so colonizes there, Mars. There's I, a storm coming in. There's a storm coming in. They're like, okay, we have to leave. It's going to tear this place apart. Yeah. And they're, as they're walking out to the spaceship to go back to Earth, he gets smacked with, like, a rock or, you know, something from the base that that flew and hit him, and he gets flown out. Because isn't the gravity different on Mars? But either way, yeah, gravity's He gets so, lost. Yeah, in he the gets storm. he gets lost in the storm, and then they leave. They're like he's gone, and then he wakes up and goes back to the base and starts to live. And then that's this Such whole thing of having movie. to communicate with Earth and him trying to survive. Yeah, it's a really good movie. Oh, it actually won a Grammy uh, for the oh, comedy. I think I've heard about that actually. It, it's just like shoot, I need to watch this. He's movie just sometimes. he's it's like pretty humorous. He has a lot of like charisma. Yeah, and, and the okay, you want to know the funny thing, or not the funny thing, but what's really interesting is I watched like a video where it's a scientist like basically just like fact checking the Martian, and he's like, "Yeah, legit, this could really happen." Like, yeah, let's like, go. like the science that is used in that book Bro. is very like cohesive with what actually could yeah. happen, and he talks about how like it's not like normal to like grow plants from your own poo because like all like disease and e coli and all that crap yeah. but because of like the way that the poo is like stored in the thing where it's like freeze it's like freeze dried and then like it's put in this bag outside of this thing oh. yeah it's like it's like, like, it, like it like it puts in a bag uh, i don't know it like there's like so many things where it's like yeah it could actually be possible and he wow. has to like create water at one thing to one point to like feed the potatoes it's such a fun thing. <laughs> and he like <laughs> <or he> makes <laughs> like pretty much house inside the thing. It's really good, man. Only it's genius. potatoes. Matt Damon. My guy. Well, he oh my like God. The, <laughs> the rations. And then the whole time on Earth, they're trying to figure out how the frick they're going to get him home. And it's yeah. crazy. And Ooh, dude, like, Andy, I got potatoes! And it gets a little like, okay, that probably wouldn't happen. He made yeah. Mars in the new the, the new Idaho. Because. The new <laughs> I mean, Mars in the new Idaho. <laughs> I know, they, we got the potatoes. We have the best potatoes, freaking prove it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, you could probably live off potatoes for a freaking Dude, there's a lot of diets yeah, like sure. that. I was talking for to sure. Thomas about 
about it. And he's, there's like people who live off potatoes. Yeah, potato diet. Yeah, have you seen a couch potato? Oh! Potato. Just, just potato. Wow. Have you seen okay. Cody's diet? Not, not, honestly, no. Ever since I was born, for 21 years, I've been living off of nothing but straight junk and pizzas. <laughs> How my man still alive is beyond me. Is, I mean, I have type 1 diabetes, but that's a minor drop. When he wants a vegetable, major. he eats potatoes. <laughs> okay. potato. potato. Okay, listen, hear me potato out. Potatoes potato. are so good, though. You slap some butter on that, oh, some gravy, straight up. some salt, pepper, cheese, freaking shredded cheese on yeah. a baked potato. <laughs> My gosh, God's gift to earth. God's gift to earth. Lord have potato. mercy. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's awesome. And the, I think the amazing thing about potatoes, too, is we're talking about potatoes. All, this, all, <laughs> it's the, finally all the different ways you can put together potatoes. Like, you can freaking mash them. You can, like, just eat it. Bake them. F and raw. Them, like, like, dice them. Slice them. Slice them. Shred them. Shred them. Shred them. Shred them. What is that called? Like, Breakfast. Hash browns. Bro! Hash browns. Like straight up. There's like an endless variety. Yeah, I've, I've, never really like, I've never really liked hash browns. Wait. Get, wait. What? Get out. No, get get out. out. <laughs> I'm more of like a... Okay, to be no, fair, I, I'm kind of with him when it comes to the hash brown. The, the hash browns that I like are basically tater tots. Let's go. Like fries. Pretty well, no. Like, oh, have you ever had a no. tater tot before? Like, yeah, the outside's tater, crispy but... and golden, but then there's inside potatoes side. on the inside. But then also, McDonald's has like a hash brown bar, and that... wait, no, don't they have like a? Like don't a... tell me you've never gone to McDonald's no, for I breakfast. Have not. You, you, you've wait, never. Got... No, I think I have for a little bit, but like they have hash all sorts. Yeah, it's like hash a hash brown, brown sandwich. It's pretty good. It's so. Frick, my it's got like eggs, and it's pretty good. Yo, all right. Yo, well, okay, one sec. Don't serve breakfast. Time not not here. Wait, do no, they not do all, the all day thing anymore? Because if not, I'm gonna protest. <laughs> I'm about to flip. This, this man protests about real things. I'm about right to flip <laughs> they do car or things. something. But okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. School lunch food. What about Ooh. We're not well, it's straight Michelle trash. Obama. Before Michelle Obama, fine. <laughs> After so trash. Chef's kiss. But listen, listen. I don't even remember. When they either. did when so I remember. Being in, say, fifth grade, okay, okay, at cafeteria, they did breakfast for lunch. And I thought that was the greatest idea ever. Get some French toast sticks, Yo, oh, some I syrup, toast sticks. whatever else they had. I was just excited about the, the French toast sticks. But they had the hash brown, like, the, the hash brown bar. Not yeah. the ones from McDonald's, you know, the healthier one. The one without the whole... Grease, grease yeah, and no, salt no, and no, goodness, no. right? Yeah, goodness. Wasn't it was deep fried. It was like air fried. No, it was it was it's something weird, else. Yeah, but it wasn't know. it wasn't <laughs> natural. Now, anyways, what I'm saying is, I took a bite of that, expecting it to be the similar taste to uh, a McDonald's hash brown bar. Yeah. And I was like, "What the h <laughs> is this?" Like, I had a freaking Gordon Ramsay moment and just threw it down on the train. I was like, it's fucking raw! It was terrible. I ate it anyways because I, I did like them. But they, it tastes disgusting. Give me two more. Two more, right? But it was, it, was, it was significantly different, and I was so heartbroken. The French toast sticks were more or less fine. I love French toast sticks. <laughs> they slap. I have, a, I have, like, a similar story to that because I always imagine, like, hash browns or, like, the oval from McDonald's. I don't oh, know why because, like, I never got so hash browns, but it must have been at my school. I think they must have made them, like, the angles. No, that's no like, 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 like the, the Walmart. Oval. I mean the McDonald's, sorry, McDonald's, like, that's exactly hash browns. It's freaking triangles. Like, they wanted to be no, the pyramids. But anyways. <laughs> the pyramids. <laughs> I love it. No, but my anyways, I always too. related those to hash browns. And then my mom, like, I remember one day, she's like, you want hash browns, baby? And I'm like, sure. And, and then, like, she, like, shredded potatoes. And it was like, cook shredded potatoes. Yeah. And I was like, these are the hash browns. And she's like, they're hash Everything browns. Everything school taught me bread. says that these are not <laughs> hash browns. <laughs> well, I, yeah. I kind of oh, did that because mine, that's how mine was in like the oval. And I remember going to like a diner, you know, there's a little diner by my house. And yeah. they, they just, for breakfast, you know, they just th- slap them <laughs> on the plate. One, like the top is just brown, you know, like shredded, just shredded potatoes. And I was mm-hmm. like, what the heck is that? 
Which are pretty it's good. You know, I'm, I mean, like, I'm really like, good. I need to make hash browns tomorrow. Bro. Mm. I wish they had the breakfast here in the McDonald's. That would be so nice. Yeah, I was so devastated. Maybe we went there the other day, and yeah. you said they didn't have all-day breakfast. I wonder I if they crushed. have it in the morning, though. I'm yeah. sure they have it. They, yeah, I'm morning. almost... Oh, man, big bag. I don't want to go to bowling tomorrow. I'm down to go to bowling. <laughs> I, to go to bowling. Okay, I can miss one break. day <laughs> Um I've always had hash browns the way your mom cooked them. I'd just, like, shred the potatoes up. Aren't Which is really cold? good. Like, yeah, not... I've never had it like the old <laughs> Drew's <way>. thing. <laughs> Aren't you homeschooled? <laughs> it's like we're talking about school like lunches asking. here, and I'm like, I freaking ate my own food. So okay, I don't know enough. what you're talking about. You know what? I bless you, sir. You <laughs> bless you, sir. never had to learn the school lunches were terrible. Yeah, I, know... I've heard. So this is, this is educational. Do you know what I hate about like school lunches, which really frustrate me? Like even in high school. So like I'm from a big family, and we like yeah. we always eat all the food that's on our plate. But like. When you had school lunches, they'd force you to, like, you need a fruit, you need a... Oh, heck that. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> literally, people... I would see people eat the main thing. Throw it all away. Throw it all away. I'm like, what? Like, don't do that. You're wasting <laughs> I mean, so much food. The, the meal of, like, they can throw down a meal. Like, I remember my high school. It's, like, two two dollars and fifty cents for that whole meal on that oh. tray. So, I mean, that's probably including the cost of the tray. You know what I mean? Like, so, I mean, those meals were super, super cheap. So, not only the the school lunches, not to get political or anything like that, but they serve, they, <laughs> hear, hear me out, they serve like the about. same <laughs> portions as they did in fifth grade to high, to high school. schoolers, that's and that's, that's no. not enough. No. However, okay. aside from the seriousness, when you guys were in like fifth grade or whatnot and you're at lunch did you guys have little one kids that are just like yo i'll trade you my fruit cup for the rest of your tater tots and it's like so i don't think you had the bartering going on i don't think i've had one fruit cup my whole life that's more than me i thought they i heard fruit and i was like that sounds healthy i don't want that it's like i don't know it's probably it's like Frozen yogurt. Bro, or okay, I think sometimes really gross. It's like these little like corn, 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 like corn, corn, corn syrup. Like, eh. I, <laughs> no thanks. I think in public school, every friend group had one of those kids, and I was one of the kids that would just eat the extra food that people would eat. So I remember in like elementary Are school, my parents didn't pay for like school lunch. As I got older, they got more lazy, oh, but they didn't pay for school crash. lunch. And so like I would just eat all the school lunch, and I remember I'd always get like two milks from my two friends in elementary school because like they wouldn't drink it, and I'd be like, I want freaking chocolate milk, <laughs> strawberry milk. Yeah, I, chocolate I, milk. Yes. I was the I was the one kid that. Had you know the classic the the PB and J the cheese stick oh, the yeah. the Capri Sun <laughs> oh I haven't had a Capri Sun yeah, since last uh, summer the, the the freaking oh, go you know, one time yo, Danimals pop a hole in that Danimals that like, Dan no. freaking, you know how different my life would be if I won the Danimals. I saw a TikTok of this one dude trigger. He's like, did anybody ever win that? <laughs> Still to this day, I've never. I remember seen. those commercials so well. I do too, because like you know, who didn't like you know, Sweet Life on Deck or Sweet or, Life of Zach and Cody? And who didn't like True. animals? And who didn't? I love those things. I know, some right now. At, <laughs> pop one of those open. Turn Star Wars or Clone Wars on. Pound two of those, oh. ninety nine. <laughs> they say they say chalky milk make the pain go away. No 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 no. You want to forget the pain entirely. <laughs> you want to damage yourself. Dan. 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 I don't know. Dan. 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 What? Someone who? What are? What's? I need speech therapy. I do too. Apparently. Don't worry. You're from Utah. You have a free pass. Wow, we is... say mountains instead we of say, mountains. We're here from Wisconsin. Let's go. We say oil, 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 mountain. Curl. 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 Is anyone oil. actually capable of saying mountain? Mountain. 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 But just you don't. You mountain. Mountain. just say mountain. mountain. Well, when I do my mountain. British mountain. accent, you have to emphasize the, em, em, emphasize the T. Mountain. 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 Animals. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? How do you say it? No. <laughs> <laughs> is it Dan Danimals? Danimals? Danimals. Danimals. Daniel's song. Daniel's song. Daniels. I don't know why. I said From now on, I'm just gonna call it Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want. When I now. see them once every five years at Walmart. 
I see them all the time at Walmart. I'm like, dang, if I was a broke, I would buy them and chug them. But I mean, they just. I waste money all the time. I'd definitely buy some. (laughs) Yo, it's like, forget, like. Just, just, just down a bunch of animals. Like this is the new drug industry right here. Yo, to cel- to celebrate our very first podcast, animals we're right drinking animals <laughs> the night <laughs> the night up. we drop it. Okay, straight up, let's do it. The cover picture will just be <laughs> us <laughs> drinking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be a horrible full, 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 full send. Cover. Full send, but okay. Big support. I mean, you were talking about like okay, drinking animals. Okay, what are they? I have wait, so- what are they? Dan- I don't know! Danimals. 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 Okay, Danimals. okay now that we've got that covered, just say Danimals. Danimals. But, yeah. um, like, have you ever heard of, like, modifying, like, kids' stuff? So I have a friend, and what she does is she, like, pokes a hole in like, her Capri Sun, dumps out half of it, and then fills it half with vodka. Yeah. And then reseals it. She has Bro. vodka <laughs> Capri Sun, and she says they're the best thing ever. Well, vodka's like spring or like, spring back here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is she up. going into business? <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, Why? everything against my morals, I, I don't drink. However, that's a good idea. Sell those to adults. Boom. Bank off of childhood memories. Genius idea. <laughs> Besides the point. I mean, oh no, 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 no. And the other thing she does is she does otter pops. She'll cut off the top. She'll oh my out gosh! Out no. black liquid, and then she takes like a straight iron, seals it. Bro, oh my gosh! Yo, who Yo, is I'm, she? Straight alcohol doesn't freeze. Yeah, don't say that. Straight, never mind. What? Straight alcohol doesn't freeze. No, it's not no. straight alcohol. It's like, it's like half of the otter pop, and then. Well, so like, there, there, there's, there's some, I, there's I, some I, alcohol I'd like, I that you can freeze. Like if yeah. it's got a lot of sugar in it. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I don't, I like, I think you're right. There's some stuff where yeah, it like straight freeze, vodka does But it could freeze. be like a freezy where it's like oh, okay. some little part of stuff is like frozen. Oh, okay. like I guess slushy. I'm over, I'm over yeah. thinking it a little bit. I, I see what you're saying. Bro. Or just think about the fact, like we're not allowed alcohol in our apartment, but like what if you have otter pops? You know. Is Stacey gonna be like, I need to make sure there's not alcohol in there to eat your <laughs> stuff? Fall down the stairs. What's in these hot pots? Drunk with us. <laughs> no, she's what? not gonna check it, so you get away with having alcohol that doesn't look like you're having Yo. alcohol. Why does just... I don't think anyone would care. Well, it's it's besides the point. I mean, that's the thing you talk. I mean, our apartment's pretty chill, but. Yo, I throw down freaking. Six pack cores every day if I could buy it. <laughs> if I could afford it. No, you're not. <laughs> Stop. Bro, they have that crap okay, wait. Water. You just gave me the you gave me the talk history about never doing drugs or drinking hey, I, okay, alcohol. You're right. You're right. So that's true. You did. Well, I Take mean, then you could argue not playing devil's advocate, but then you can argue, well, I'm in college. You know, this is a time where I'm supposed to be experimenting, not enforcing that at all. Yeah. Saying, but just saying. Anyway, However, yeah, you're right. Yo, since we're talking about animals, and stuff, <laughs> animals. Do y'all remember that the one like slushy cup where you basically can pour soda into it, like you pull it out of the freezer, you you, you set the oh, cup in the freezer, you pull it out, you pour Coke in there, and you squeeze it, yep. and it turns into an that. icy. Yep. Do you yep. you remember, I remember that? that. Have I you ever seen it? I yeah. have one. I have but that was like the, that. I haven't either. It's coming back though. I saw it the other Wait, day. I was like, what? Yeah. I remember. I, I, we had one. Uh, it was came with like these plastic ice cubes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you just like freeze them, like you could refreeze them, put them in the drink, and then you could shake it and make a slushy. I out of like soda or whatever. My, my brothers had one of those, and like the only thing I can say was it was like fake advertising. I believe that because like Aww. it, you have to be like very like it has to be very cold, and the drink has to be cold, and then you do, it and then it makes a slushy. But if you just freeze the thing and then you pour your drink in it, it's just like a cold drink. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't freeze. Well, get this. I had a Mountain Dew in the freezer the other day just because I wanted it cold faster. Pulled it out after like two hours. I popped the top and it like it did. Like, up? It did yeah. No, it did like this. It froze. Yo, it was uh, like well, that, but, that perfect amount of time like where slushy the, 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 or... the molecules needed to be agitated. And then it froze like to a slushy. Oh, no cap. No. no cap. I straight away, it was a Mountain Dew slushy. Bro, I don't drink Mountain Dew, but I drink that. I, I drink that. You, gotta, you just got to put it in there for like two and a half okay. hours. So right to like right above freezing. So like just 30 to 4 degrees probably. Spot. And crack it or shake it. Frick. Boom. You got slushy. Dude. I've done it before a lot. Yeah. You can do it with water. <laughs> yeah. I, there's like there's like videos where you just have to make sure you don't freeze it. Oh, and yeah. And then you take like a, metal, a cold metal container and then you pour your drink on it. And oh, like, yeah. And it come a fancy yeah. as soon as oh, it Oh, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. So it's just the same concept. Yeah. So it's just in the can. It's pretty cool. 